Brendan, please rise. The sentence of this court is that you, Dimitri Dolores, be incarcerated for a period of 20 years. The defendant is forthwith remanded into custody of a U.S. federal marshal. This court is adjourned. Parents were Trotsky. My parents are lefties too. Didn't stop them enjoying the family fortune. Just made them feel guilty. Johnny, I can't imagine anybody in your family feeling guilty <laughs> about anything. That's because I am the only person in my family you know. Listen, Alicia, come with us tomorrow. We're sailing down to Nassau. Sex, drugs, and good tequila. It'll be just what you need. Say yes. Maybe. That's not yes. And it's not no. <laughs> you want a drink? Don't mind if I do. I think I like you. That's my high life attitude. No, I just like sexy guys that crash my parties. I didn't crash your party, <laughs> came with her. Damn. I guess you're gonna wanna go home with the same woman who brought you. Hmm? <laughs> Listen, I love some. How quaint. Do you know that some radio stations play Nothing but love songs, 24 hours a day. Music to commit suicide. You don't like love uh, songs? Makes me laugh. I changed my mind. I don't think I like you. You want to go for a swim? No. It's the best time after midnight. Sharks have gone to sleep. Uh, well, what about them? Don't worry. They'll crawl back in their coffins before the sun comes up. I'll drive. You need a coat. You'll do. Yeah, just a second. We wouldn't want you to catch cold. Thank you. Are you sure you can drive?
fog terrible. Not the fog, it's the hair in your face. Why don't you let me drive? Why, are you scared? No. Not? No. How fast are we going? 75? 80? To your driver's license, please. Um, I left it at home. You want to step out of the car, please? Yeah, excuse me. Really sorry, sir. I didn't think she should be driving. It's all right, I'll take care of it. Good night. Drive carefully. Thanks. Going to jail? No, that's not. No tickets? No police brutality? No. Who are you? Well, I'm the mystery guest. Do you have a name? Deborah. You're a cop? No, you're too well dressed to be a cop. You're a fed. Get out of my car. Why don't you move on? You slimy no, bastard! You are a fed! Well, we'll talk about it in the morning. I don't want to see you in the morning, Come you son of a bitch. Come on, I want to drive, will you? Ow! Oh. You stinking you fed, sneaking around, trying to get something on me. Come on, you take get it easy? Get the hell out of my car. You take it easy. All right, if you won't get out, then I will. I can walk home. Morning. I think you better drink this. I thought I got rid of you. It's my hangover cure. Been in the devil family for generations. Guaranteed to work. Uh, oh, come on, drink up. Make you feel better. What do you care how I feel? Oh, oh I don't remember getting ready for bed. Well, I helped a little. Did you have a good time? Not particularly, no. I bet. Come on, drink up. Bottoms up. It works. Good. What kind of fed are you, anyway? The CIA kind. I should have known that. You're very, very polished, Mr. Devlin, like a machine who knew you guys dressed so well. What do you want with me? You already have my father locked up. No, we don't want to lock you up. We want you for a job. Give me a break. A little part-time employment in the service of your country. And the company has something cooking in Paris. The company? Mm-hmm. And your name was brought up. Now I know I'm drunk. You got yourself the wrong girl, Mr. Devlin. You don't think so. Then you're an idiot. I'm the daughter of a convicted traitor. What makes you think I care? Love of democracy. I don't give a rat's ass about politics. You found your way in. Feel free to find your way out. I'm going back to bed. Daddy, are you crazy? This country has been nothing but good to you. My loyalty was never here. I came to this country to serve the cause of communism. Communism? What good is your cause, huh? Look at Russia or China or anywhere else it's been tried. It brings fear and misery and nothing else. Alicia, you're smarter than that. No, no, maybe I am smarter than you. Daddy, why did they dance on the Berlin Wall? Why 
Why did they celebrate when the Ceausescu's were executed? Don't belittle your Soviet heritage. I'm an American. My mother was an American. Your mother was a traitor. And you are a traitor. God, I ought to turn you in. You have a really despicable job. Do you know that? Sometimes. Not all the time. So what? I can make a big speech. It came from your heart. What do you know about me, Mr. CIA? Don't you know I have a reputation? I drink too much, I sleep around, I don't care about anybody or anything. I know you better than that. I said those things to make him mad. I would have never turned my father in. We didn't expect you to turn him in. What do you expect? Look, I don't expect anything. But I'm hoping that you'll take this job. Is that all this is to you? A job? Just business? It's better that way. What if I wanted to be more than just business? Well, what do you have in mind? Well, Mr. Devlin, all my life I've had this irresistible impulse to undress in front of strangers. Irresistible? Yeah, if there's a handsome man watching, yes. I'll remember that. Leave a message. Hi, Alicia. Just a reminder that we're sailing at one o'clock. Pack a bag and get down here. I think it's just the thing you need. I really, Angel, it won't be a party without you. So? Going sailing? No, I think I'll fly to Paris on Uncle Sam. She's gonna need some time to recover, so take a week and then I'll be in touch. All right, see you in Paris. Have a safe trip. Cheers. Cheers. Who was that? That was Norman Prescott. He's my station chief. Here we are. Boston, Paris. Oh, great. Now I have to deal with two feds? It's your lucky day. Is it about our secret mission? Nah, it's just I'd rather tell you about it in Paris. Why? Well, because it's not good news. Tell me. It's about your father. He, uh, he committed suicide last night. I'm sorry. You all right? Some juice or champagne, perhaps? Do you want something? Uh, do you want something to drink? No, nothing. Nothing. At least I don't have to hate him anymore.
like you. It says here she's a world-class drinker and she used to take her clothes off at parties in college. Never happened at my school. <laughs> Alicia Valores is perfect for the job. Phi Beta Kappa, speaks four languages, lived on three continents, a genius with men, and she knows our target. Yeah, but are you sure we don't want to use one of our own people for Honestly, this thing? Sebastian knows this woman, and he's always wanted her, and his entourage will trust her because of her father. No, she's the one, believe me. There's no one better. Well, how much do we tell her? We're putting a novice in a very dangerous situation. You leave that to me and Devlin, that's our department. God, I feel good. I know. I want to feel this way forever. Me too. What are you thinking? Let's go inside. Why do we want to do that? Well, we just might find a reason. Are you sure? Yeah. Great minds think alike, then. Mr. Devon, you are still entirely too formal for my boudoir. Bonjour, I'm not in. Leave me a message. Miss Valores, this is Prescott. Is Devlin there? If you're hearing this message, please pick up. Have him call me at home as soon as possible. Shame on you. What? Don't you usually take those calls? Yeah, usually. Um, I mean, most of the time. Mm -hmm. So tell me, Mr. Devlin, is this the first time you've let anything come between you and your job? Well, there's the first time for everything. She'll do it. What do you mean you don't know if she'll do it? Just that. I didn't know what the assignment was. If you told me before, I'm not sure that I would have recommended her. What are you talking about? I'm saying that we may have misjudged her. I'm not convinced that she's, you know, that kind of woman. Are we talking about the same person? You read her file. You know her reputation. It's my opinion. Oh, God. What? Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. What the hell's going on between you two? Nothing. I'm her controller. We spend some time together, that's all. Oh, well, you spent some time together. Yeah. Really? Well, get your brains out of your pants, my friend, because she's not your girl, she's our girl, and she's doing this job. And if you can't run her, I gotta get someone in here who can. I'm serious. This case is that important to me. Now, I need to know, if you, if you can't do it, I have to make arrangements today to get someone in here who can. What's it gonna be? I'll do it. No, I think maybe it's better if we let this one go. I said I'll do it. She's just another girl, Dev. Yep. You know where to find me. Hello. Hi. 
I didn't hear you come in. I'm glad that you're late, because I only cook once a decade, and I'm very rusty. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. No, come on, something's wrong. Yeah, stuff at work. Don't start acting like that. Yeah, well, don't ask me what's wrong. Well, I want to know. Why? Because I care about you, because you make me happy, and I don't want you to start pulling back. Right? We got a job to do. I can't believe you're saying this. I make you happy, too. You don't know me. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You're feeling something, and it scares you. Say it. It's okay. I just think this whole thing's going a little fast. What? Well, you know, everything. I think I need a drink. You no, know, we came here to do a job, and we can't forget that. No, no, of course not. The future of mankind is in our hands. I suppose I have Prescott to thank for your mood this evening. We had a meeting? Silly me, I was beginning to think we were going to sail off into the sunset together. Sebastian. Alex Sebastian. That's right. Seems that Mr. Sebastian is quite infatuated with you. Surprisingly enough, I didn't do anything to encourage that one. So how do you know? He was a friend of my father's. They did business together. Do you know what kind of business he was in? Importing, exporting, something like that. Yeah, that's right. The last 30 years, the Sebastian family has imported and exported, bought and sold arms. Soviets. Now the Soviets are disarming. We don't think that Mr. Sebastian is going to close up shop and go home. Security around him is burned very tight. And we need to know what he's up to. I suppose that's where I come in. Now, we think we know how to get you two together. Uh, you'll bump into him. He'll be happy to see you. The rest is up to you. The rest? You get close to him. How close? It's up to you. Do you want me to sleep with him? We need someone inside his organization. I'll be there if you need me. Oh, I'm sure you will. Do you want me to do this? That's not my decision. Oh, I see. They show you a hill, and good soldier that you are, you salute smartly and charge. I'm asking you. I want to know, do you want me to do this? I don't care what you said to them. Tell me that you know I can't do this. Two weeks ago, maybe, before I met you, maybe, but not now. I'm different. That's not why we're here. We're here to do a job. Did you know that this was the assignment all along? No, I found out about it today. When do I start? Tomorrow. In case anybody asks you, we met on the plane. I'm in public relations, all right? The less personal detail, the better. That shouldn't be difficult.
sure that's him? Yes. All right. Let him get a good look at you. Smile. <laughs> we see you? I guess I'm easy to forget. Well, maybe he didn't see you. Let's give another look. <laughs> Nice to see you again. 